Hey everybody, welcome back to sunny, hot Arizona winter, fall. It's been a little chilly out, but sitting in the sun right now, it's uh, it's burning down as you'd expect from the fucking five, he the five levels of hell that is cloudless Arizona weather. First and foremost, before we get started, I just wanted to let everybody know that we are affiliated now with moviepalette.com. Movie palettes are created by a team of artists who carefully choose colors for our canvas paintings. Firstly, the most common color of every scene in the movie is found. Colorful stripes are then put on canvas in chronological order from left to right. The length of each strip represents the length of a scene in the movie. Firstly, they capture every single scene in the movie. Then the average color of every scene is found in there. And then they're put in chronological order to complete a movie palette. But I'll leave a link down below. Make sure to go check it out. It is moviepalette.com. And if you use our coupon code SLACKER15, you'll get 15% off your purchase. Helps Movie Palette, helps the channel, and helps you get a great piece of artwork for maybe your favorite film. But that's besides the point because we are here for our yearly excursion into Barnes & Noble for the Criterion sale. 50% off. I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little nervous about going here today. I went to the Chandler one a few days ago and not the same. It's scaled down. The whole area they used to have for movies and vinyl and all those physical media items has just, it's been reverted to a little corner. A little corner by the, uh, by the checkout line. It's exactly what we thought would happen. It's exactly what we have talked about on this channel and everybody's talked about it for years now and things are just, they're not looking good for physical media. Uh, luckily we have boutique companies like Criterion and Arrow and all those that can still manage to put out physical media, make money, but it's not looking good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble as usual. I have a few things in mind. Uh, I wanna pick up Cure. Uh, Power of the Dog is out now, the 4K. So I'm hoping to pick up those. We'll see what else is there. I know when I went to the Chandler one, the selection was phew, very scarce. Some things had a few copies, most things had one copy. So who knows how it's been picked over since the sale started a couple days ago. But we're gonna trek over, see what we can find. <laughs> to seem to have 50% off all of their Blu-rays and DVDs. Wow, that sucked. Oh, okay. Well, after such a sad and desperate attempt to find some films, I did come out with some. A couple, three. Is that a couple? Oh, what a disappointment. It's just so sad to see. This is the future. This is the future that the, uh, the Russians want. No more physical media. So let's see, I got Cure here, directed by Kiyoshi Kurosawa. Seen this one time and it's just a very atmospheric movie. If you're looking for anything that's like atmospheric, 
creepy, tension filled. This is a good one. It's uh, something about the, the J horror. I don't know, they know how to do it better. They don't pull any punches. They just, they just do what they feel, no matter how fucked up it may be. And this is one that, oh, seriously enjoyable. Next up here, we have Arsenic and Old Lace. Really, only reason I picked this up is because it's Frank Capra, one of the Frank Capras I haven't seen. Cary Grant's pretty good too, but big fan of Frank Capra and everything he's done for the most part. Some of my favorite films are ones that he directed, and Peter Lorre is also in this, that creepy bastard. There he is. That creepy bastard. So yeah, happy to pick this one up. And, uh... Last but certainly not least, we picked up The Power of the Dog on 4K UHD. Really, really enjoyed this when I watched it last year. Very curious to see how the picture looks going from a Netflix film to 4K UHD. Benedict Arnold, Benedict Cumberbatch in this film is very good. A lot of subtlety to the performances from him, Cody Smith McPhee. Uh, Jesse Plemons and Kirsten Dunst are great. Cool to see them together in a film. Yeah, big fan of westerns, but big fan of westerns that I guess have more going on in it than just shooty shooty, bang bang, that sort of thing. Which this is what that is. Very lovely score by Johnny Greenwood, who is he's great. Love that man. Phantom Thread. Oh, just delightful. And this score is delightful as well can't wait to pop this one in again and see uh see if my feelings on it are the same or if they're better or worse but either way can't wait and that does it oh criterion sale what'd you guys pick up there was a what seemed like a black friday sale on blu-ray.com too like amazon had prices super low i think they were doing like a pre black friday sale so there were a lot of deals there did you pick anything up then let me know love to hear what you guys pick up yeah, so uh, that about wraps it up for now. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. I love you.